Decrease in seismic activity while magma continues to accumulate underground in Iceland has left scientists uncertain about what will happen next. In its latest report on Friday, the Icelandic Meteorological Office said that although the current volcanic process has not yet ended, it is difficult to say when and where the next magma embankment will intrude into the Earth's crust beneath the island nation. Meanwhile, the intrusion of molten rock into the Earth's crust, damaging the surface, continues to increase at a fairly steady rate. It's said that in the previous few days, relatively few earthquakes have been detected, most of magnitudes one or less. Between 1,500 and 1,800 earthquakes per day were recorded from November 10 for almost two weeks, before dropping to the hundreds. Earthquakes mostly occur around locations of magma intrusions, or dikes of vertical layers of molten rock that form rapidly and penetrate weak spots in the Earth's crust, and are estimated to be about 15.3 miles long. The trail runs along the coastal fishing town of Grindavik, on the southwest peninsula of Iceland's main island. The town of nearly 4,000 people was evacuated last month due to the threat of an eruption. Experts so far believe that, if an eruption occurs, it will most likely occur somewhere along the path of the embankment. The Icelandic Meteorological Office said that the process of dike formation will continue and it can be stated with certainty that a phase has begun in which a similar series of events may be repeated in time. At this stage, it is difficult to say when the next intrusion of energetic magma at shallower depths might occur and whether it will occur in a similar area or not. In recent weeks, authorities in Iceland have built earthen walls, along with channels and canals, around Grindavik and Svartsinji, a nearby geothermal power plant, in an effort to direct lava away from the buildings in the event of an eruption. In the horizontal intrusion beneath Svartsinji, it is about six miles in diameter and is believed to flow into a dike where magma continues to build up at depth, which experts previously thought had happened cyclically over the past few years. The sudden shift of the North American tectonic plate away from the Eurasian plate is thought to have caused magma to suddenly push up through a fissure that runs beneath Iceland. As seismic activity shows signs of decreasing, an Icelandic volcanologist expressed hope that the volcanic episode is over, but told Newsweek that it may mark the start of a period of intense tectonic activity in the region based on historical trends.